there and welcome to Yarnspirations.com. In this video we're going to take a look at the Pop Pop Popcorn Crochet Snuggle Sack. And here it is so you can see it up close and personal because in real life it's just too big for my set. Uh, it comes in two different sizes and is made in several colors of Burnett Blanket and Burnett Blanket Brights and Burnett Baby Blanket and then you're going to need a size US L11 or 8 millimeter crochet hook or size needed to obtain gauge. This is a really simple to stitch project. Don't let the detail of it fool you because the snuggle sack part is just rows of stitching and then you make this big circle to put on the front and then at the very top you have all these crazy popcorns and they're very easy to make. I'm going to show you how to make these kernels, but you can make what is suggested in the pattern or make as many or as few in as many crazy colors as you want. And then you just sort of stitch them on randomly to look like the popcorn is spilling out of the red and white cup. So let's get started and make a kernel. Now, like many patterns we have here on Yarnspirations.com, we offer you the kernel part of the production in both diagram form and in text form. So I just want to go over this very quickly because I encourage all of you to use the stitch diagram whenever you can. You're going to begin by chaining three and then you are going to make ten half double crochets in the third chain from hook. And you're going to join that with a slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet. Now the chain twos, as you can see, do not count as stitches. So when you use a chain two to get from one row to the next, one round from the next rather, you're not going to count that. So I have chained three, I put my ten half double crochets in here, and I'm going to join my round with a slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet. Now I'm going to chain two, which once again does not count as a stitch, and I'm going to put two half double crochets in each half double crochet around. That will give me 20 half double crochets. So I'm going to work all the way around and once again join my round with a slip stitch in top of that first half double. And then for round three, I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to half double in the first, half double, two in the next, one in the next, two in the next, all the way around. Join that round with a slip stitch in the first half double crochet and then we're going to make the little puffy parts of the kernels. So I'm going to catch up with round two and three and I'll meet you right back here to put the kernels on. Okay, I finished my third round and I'm going to go ahead and work on the fourth round which is going to give us our little bobble shapes on the bottom of our popcorn kernel. So following along in the text or the diagram, I'm going to skip the first two half double crochet. So there's one, two, and in the next half double crochet I'm going to put six double crochet. So we've switched to doubles here instead of half doubles and that's because we want the height of that stitch to really make those little bobbly guys stand out. We want them to have lots of shape and depth. Four, whoop, don't want to go in there. <laughs> Five, six. Then it says slip stitch in each of next two half doubles. So there's one and there's two. Now we're going to put four doubles in the next half doubles. 
one, two, three, four, We're going to do that again, slip stitch in each of the next two half doubles, one, two, and four again in the next one, four doubles, one, two, three, four, and we're going to slip stitch in each of the next two half doubles, one, two, and then we're going to put six doubles in the last, for our last, well it's not the last half double crochet, but it's our last little bobble here, two, three, four, five, oh, let me pull up some more yarn here, six, and then a slip stitch in the next half double to make sure that last guy's not flopping around. So here's our popcorn kernel. Here, let's pull out a little bit. Here's our popcorn kernel with our little bobbly guys on the bottom. So it looks like it's freshly popped. Now you're going to make as many as is specified in the pattern, and you're going to make them in this bright yellow and also in the baby yellow so that they look different. And then all you need to do after you get your pieces made is to do the finishing. So I'm going to go get our finished sample and talk about that a little bit. So let's take a look at the top edge of our snuggle sack. Uh, first off, it's fun to put some popcorn kernels falling down the side. They don't have to be on this side specifically. You can really have a good time and put them wherever you want. The one thing I want to point out, though, is be careful when you are stitching the popcorn kernels into place that you are only going through the top layer of the snuggle sack. You want to have that back open so you can get in there. If you accidentally catch the back layer while you're sewing, you won't be able to get in. And then you can also see we did things like we folded some of them in half. We have the little bobbles facing different ways, just like popcorn would in real life. There's no rhyme or reason to the color arrangement. You just put them on in the order that looks good. So first you would put your ones that are coming down the side if that's what you wanna do. And then you're going to attach a couple to the actual snuggle sack to the front. And then as you build up, you can add the additional kernels either in front of or behind that first row of kernels that you already put on. Don't worry about tying knots or, or thinking that that's going to be ugly because honestly the, the knots are going to just sort of smush right into the fabric because the fabric is so very dense. So you need a tapestry with a really big eye to weave in and out if that's what you want to do, but you can also use your crochet hook. Just insert your crochet hook and pull a strand of yarn through to get your stitching together. Lastly, I want to talk about our pop on the front. Now all we did here was make some chains out of the bright red blanket yarn. And the length of the chain varies according to what letter we're making. Now what we did is we took a red marker because we were stitching the, the, uh, the chains on in red and we put some little dots to outline where we wanted them to be to make it easier to sew on. But after you have completed the label, that's what it's called in the pattern, this white circle is the label, then you can make your chains and using that big old tapestry needle that I was talking about earlier, hold the tapestry needle under the label and whip stitch that chain into place. You can see 
and we used the red yarn so that it would blend in with the chains but you can see that we just whip stitch now when you're doing that whip stitch make sure you catch a couple of strands of the yarn of the label not just one because you wanted to be really sturdy because of course if you're going to eat popcorn in your popcorn sack you may want to put it in the wash every now and again and then for the exclamation point because the stitching is so big and there's plenty of room we took some of that chain and tucked it under that stitch so that's how we got the little uh, demarcation for the period under the exclamation point but you don't have to make a separate piece for the dot you can just tuck a little piece of your chain right in anyway i hope you have a wonderful time making your pop pop popcorn sack and you can see how quickly it goes together because my goodness we made that kernel and nothing flat so have a great time make one for your adult size person or your small size person and everybody will love hanging out in this watching a movie and having some great family time at home thanks so much for joining us here on yarnspirations.com i look forward to seeing you here again real soon